Hello, hello. Hi, everybody. This is Sabu Badaki. Today we're talking about do you want your business to grow or to scale? And this subject has come up so often when I'm out, um, when I talk about how I'm helping women businesses to scale so they can go global or how I talk about scaling your business and um, growing your business. So we know the facts. So let's talk about the facts really quickly. We know the facts that only 2% of women businesses ever reach seven figures. We also know that 80% of small, medium enterprises are not even small, they're micro. And we know that most women businesses are in a service um, type of business. Most women are, serv are service, or if they're not service, they're trading. And so these kind of businesses don't necessarily always produce the margins because our services um, that we're providing are still poly uh, gender to gender, woman to woman type of businesses. Now, am I saying if I'm in, you're in a woman to woman type of business that you can't make money? I am absolutely not saying that. But we tend to really kind of play in these markets. And so um, also known as the pink collar markets. So what we're talking about now when we talk about women to women businesses or when we're talking about service businesses and we're talking about our businesses growing versus scaling, I want to really touch on this because this every time I talk about it, people keep asking me, well, of course I want my business to grow. Why do I want it to scale? And everyone wants their business to grow. Great. I know that we, we want to make more money, which is why I always kind of talk about this. I call it the six figure myth where people keep constantly saying, oh, I'm going to help you make six figures when most women um, that I know have left six figure jobs to start a business. So if I love a six figure job, I am not looking for a six figure business because six figures, one of that revenue is not all coming to me. And two, I'm not leaving my corporate job that's very cushiony with benefits just to make the same kind of money I did on my own. All right. So aside for that, so why do I want to scale? versus grow and what is the difference so if your business is growing your business is actually growing what it's doing is it's increasing in customer size or market share or revenues or profit margins that's when we're talking about growing and when you're growing for every one customer that you get you also have to have uh, resources to also support those customers so for instance if you are making widgets and you need through, um, one person to make four widgets that means if you're going to make eight widgets you need two people and so for every person that you actually are um, employing it's only because they can actually take care of a certain amount of work so it kind of also limits your capacity in terms of how many people you can actually serve and what it does is as your revenue goes up so does your cost because for every time you have to employ a new person or you have to buy a new product or you have to get a bigger space then that means that you're growing but you're not only is your revenue growing but your expenses and everything that's attached to that new customer is also growing so that's a growing business a scalable business is that yes you are getting more customers you're having more revenue but you know what at the same rate of you getting more customers and your income is going up your expenses are not growing at the same rate so therefore you're able to serve more people but your cost is also staying at a minimal cost and that is one of the things that i love love to do and would really encourage us as women to really start focusing on doing that in our business not just getting more customers but also looking at how you can serve more people at the same cost or a minimum or incremental cost difference by serving more people. That is a scalable business versus a growth business. Just wanted to get you that tip. Now, why do you want to do that? Because you want to make more money, right? You don't want to have this limit on your business of how much you can make. And if you're just growing and your costs are going up simultaneous like that, then you are going to kind of like not necessarily have a lid. Your lid is going to be on your profit margin. So you want your profit margins to increase, increase, increase while your revenue is increasing, but not that your profit margins are actually staying the same as your revenue is increasing. So that is my tip for you today that I want to talk to you about what the difference is between growing 
versus scaling. And that really, as women, I want us to really focus on scaling our businesses, not just growing, not just having new income coming in, but looking at ways that we can scale. So as we're, our income and our revenue is growing, as we're getting more customers, our expenses are not chasing us right behind us and catching up with us in some cases where we're not really being able to enjoy the profit margins that we want to have. So... If you want a business that's going to really become your legacy, you got to find a way to scale. And one of the things I want to say, also, let me add really quick before I go, is that, you know, today I was talking to someone who had um, a particular service and she was saying, oh, there's no way her business could ever be scaled because she has to do everything. And I want to beg us as women, please do not build your business around you. It is nice that it has your touch, your flavor. It's nice that everybody wants to ask only to speak to you. But you are having a lid on your business if that's what you're doing. You are so capping your income. If only you can serve them, if only you can talk to them, if only you can provide the service, believe me, that's a lid that you definitely want to take it off. And how do you take that lid off? By learning how to scale. So that's the tip. Grow, great. Let's say grow, good. Scale, great. So let's go for having scale of business. I'm Sable Badaki from SheWorks, and I love to talk to you again. Have a great day.